In today's video, we're going to talk about spring. What's your favourite part about spring? My favourite part about spring is that it usually means that the nice weather is coming back after having a cold and long winter. The temperature starts to get warmer, which means you can spend more time outside like going for long walks or visiting nature reserves. Also, the landscapes become more colourful, with the trees growing their leaves and plants in flower. People usually become a bit happier with all these changes. After Christmas, which is a great excitement for many people, it seems that the months of January, February and March are quite miserable. I think it's because people don't really have anything to look forward to. The months of November and December are usually cold but you're looking forward to Christmas and the New Year so it's an exciting time. But when you don't have anything to look forward to then people become miserable. How do you spend your weekends during the spring season? I normally go on a nice long walk at the weekends, visit my family or meet up with my friends. The weather gets nicer in nearby countries too, so I often go on a short weekend trip to a city in Europe like Dublin, Amsterdam or Paris. They aren't too far away and it's nice to have a change of scenery once in a while. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of spring? I always think of flowers and colours when I think of spring. I also think of allergies as a lot of people have hay fever in this season caused by all of the pollen floating around in the air. Some people get runny noses, red and itchy eyes and keep sneezing when spring comes along because of their hay fever. Do you prefer spring or another season? My favourite season in England is summer because the weather is usually warm and some days it even gets hot. I know that generally people don't like the hot weather here because they aren't used to it, but I enjoy it. The temperature is normally between 12 and 18 degrees Celsius during the day in spring, but it goes colder at night between 6 and 13 degrees Celsius. It's usually about 14 or 15 degrees during the day. So it's not really hot. That's why I prefer the summer. Do you go on holiday in the spring? Yes, Easter is normally in spring, so I go abroad for about a week. I choose more Mediterranean destinations like Italy, Greece, France or Spain for my Easter holidays because the temperature is pleasant there in this season. One of the disadvantages of travelling during Easter week is that many countries all over Europe also have holidays, so the prices of hotels and flights are usually more expensive. That's why I have to plan Easter holiday in advance. If you book it at last minute, it can be very pricey. How does spring impact your daily routine compared to other seasons? Well, the aspect that affects me the most is the amount of daylight hours. In the winter, I go to work in the dark and by the time I get back home, it's already dark again. I believe that this affects a lot of people mentally because 
It feels like the only thing that you're doing every day is working. In spring, the higher amount of daylight hours we have becomes a lot more noticeable, so that lifts people's spirits. Getting up while it's light outside and coming back from work when it's not dark is definitely something that impacts people's daily routines. It means that they can do more things in the evenings and it makes people feel more motivated in general. Have you attended any festivals in your area in the spring? There aren't really any spring festivals in my area. Festivals, especially music ones, are normally held during the summer when people are off work and the weather is supposed to be better. What's your favourite outdoor activity to do once the weather gets warmer? Once the weather gets warmer, I like to spend more time outside in the garden. I like to get all the flowers ready for spring. I have to buy some seeds at a garden centre, then plant them in little pots. After several weeks, I have to move them into larger pots so that they have enough space to grow for when they flower in the late spring or early summer. I think it's nice to have lovely flowers in the garden as it brightens the area up. In the past, I have tried growing fruits and vegetables in the garden, but the only ones that I have had success with are tomatoes and blackberries. And the last question is, do you have any childhood memories associated with springtime? I don't actually have a lot of memories associated with springtime, but I do have a lot that I associate with Easter, which is normally in spring. For example, this year, in 2024, we're going to celebrate Easter 10 days after spring starts. If you want to know more about Easter, I have made a video about the topic. I remember when I was a child, we always used to go to the supermarket and pick out our Easter eggs. Easter eggs are basically chocolate eggs and each brand like Kit Kat, Twix or Snickers sells their own version. So. If your favourite chocolate is Kit Kat, then you would buy the Kit Kat Easter egg. It was always very difficult to choose which one I wanted to buy. And the good thing is that we bought that one and then our family members also used to buy us one. So we would always have two or three in the end. Now that we are adults, it doesn't seem like such a memorable event, but it's like going to a toy shop and someone saying, you can buy whatever you want. It was the same feeling. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.